Today on the NA D16 project, I'm going to be installing this Skunk 2 intake manifold. Let's see if it actually makes a difference and uh, how it looks under the hood. I'm just gonna start working on the easy stuff, I'm plugging the sensors, uh, the vacuum lines, and then I know for sure it's kind of a pain in the ass getting the bracket that's like under the manifold, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and knock that out, get that out of the way, because after that it should be pretty easy, pretty straightforward after that. This one like swoops up, and that was like straight back. Yeah, it looks like a B-series manifold, you know? Oh yeah, it does. Look good. It's probably gonna be sitting real four pegs. It's not supposed to have issues on the on the EK, like on the EF and EG. They say it's you gotta take shit out of the way and hammer the firewall and shit. Really? But on these, it's supposed to just drop right in. It's so stupid. Oh, like this is. So I see a lot of people that have an issue with this cooler hose. How close it sits to this runner, they actually have to like bend it out a little bit just to be able to slip a hose over that. See how tight that clearance is. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can shove a hose on there. If I can, I'm gonna do what everyone does and just gap it up. Yeah, you got those hose clamp pliers? Yeah. Pliers make everything, make those hose clamps a hell of a lot easier, huh? Hell yeah. Nope, no money shot. All right, round two of the uh, removal. I had to fully remove the bracket that goes from under the manifold. I think it goes behind the block, but it was in the way, so I had to pull that sucker all the way off. Now, there shouldn't be anything stopping me from getting this off, except for more coolant runs that I forgot to take off. Okay. Good. Alright, third attempt to pull the manifold. What's what's holding it? Something's back there, huh? Oh, the coolant runs going to the uh, to the IAC valve. You remember that goes to the IAC valve. Oh my god, I scratched the back of the valve cover. Do side by side. Quick cool. <laughs> cool, man. No, the runners look good. Yeah, the runners do look thicker. The, this looks smaller, isn't it? Than this? It might be smaller, but it's longer? Yeah. Smaller, but longer. I've got that problem.
Everybody was cool as hell. Cool as hell. So the problem here, <laughs> the problem with this hose is it's so close to the rudder that if the hose doesn't want to slide on, that, uh, that's what I was talking about earlier. So you gotta kind of pry it out of the way just a little bit, just like I'm talking like a millimeter. Just get a little bit of clearance so we can slip that hose on there. Cause they, I don't know, they just machined it too tight right there. There's no way you can get that hose on without doing that. That's going on. And I'm gonna use uh, just a regular hose clamp because these are lower profile than the, than the stock ones. I need as much room as I can get, so I'm just gonna slip one of these on there. Probably should have put that on before. <laughs> Alright, so another uh, key issue that I ran into with this manifold, um, you know, besides the cooling hose I just got that showing you, is, well first of all, let me show you, look at this nut right here. It's so close to the injector boss right here, that you can't fit a socket, you can't fit a wrench, I've tried to fit anything you can and nothing works, so uh, my buddy had to grind down a 12 millimeter wrench to get it flat on the edges, just to be able to fit it right there and uh, snug this one nut up. Everything else was fine, it was just this one that was an issue. Cool. All right, so hopefully this is the last issue I run into, but the um, throttle cable bracket is not lining up to the bosses that the uh, Skunk 2 has. One of them does, well not really, but this one kind of lines up and then this one is way off. So what I'm doing now is I'm drilling a hole so that I can get both in there and it's uh, secured right. I don't want to move it around on me. It's ready to start? It might be, it should be, I don't know. <laughs> I guess let's fire it up and see if it's, you know, shooting cold out somewhere or the vacuum leaks. I might have to adjust the idle screw. Um, yeah, I'm gonna fire it up and see what happens. Something's gonna be leaking, nothing ever goes right the first time. All right, the first start up like a genius, I forgot to do something with these two spots here. Uh, this one I'm using for my uh, boost gauge, which I'm really just using the vacuum reading to tune. And this one I just used the hose and plugged it with the bolts. Um, I need to get some caps for this, but uh, okay, now that I have the vacuum leaks plugged up, uh, let's start it up again. Want to burn out? I don't care. Yes, 
I like the silver car, huh? <laughs> it needs a turbo. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, but it's uh the AFR it's actually richer when I'm flooring it. It's uh I had it tuned to like 13.3, 13.4, it actually leaned it out and now it's like 12.8. So I'm not I'm not sure what's up with that. So I need to actually go through it and uh tune it up a little bit, get the AFRs, lean them out and get them back to where I want them. I still don't understand why it's richer and not leaner. Um that yeah, one's kind of weird. I don't understand it, but I'm gonna tune it up and uh, do a couple more pulls, and hopefully I can get like a before, because I do have footage of me flooring it before the intake. So I'm gonna try and get a cool um, perspective of me flooring it with the intake, and may maybe I'm gonna try to do a side by side on the speedo. You know, it it's only gonna be like a like in five, six, uh, six horsepower difference, but uh, it's not gonna be a drastic difference. But I'm gonna see what I can do. Hey, do the honors. Pull off the plastic. I don't like doing this. Why? Because I want to basically just going to crap on stuff. I can't even see it. Is it melted on there? You do it here. Nah. It's just making me mad. Oh, so shiny. Damn. <laughs> I should have left it on there. Nah, I probably would have like melted on there or something. Clean. <laughs> no, that's how you just start the video, okay? <laughs> Okay, right now I'm just uh, making some fine adjustments and uh, getting the AFR back to what it was before. And it was actually my mistake, it was rich. I had changed some of the values in the VTEC table. I um, went through the RPMs and kind of rescaled it um, differently, so it kind of changed the values in the uh, upper, RP upper RPMs. Jesus, I can't talk. Um, okay, but right now I'm, I'm trying to get the AFR closer to about 13.3-ish, where I had it before. Um, don't mind all this because right here is 7200. This is where it redlines. Um, so yeah, basically something I learned is where the, where the fuel peaks, that's what makes like the peak torque supposedly. And that's roughly 5,400 RPMs. Um, and then it kind of dies off there as it revs up. Basically, I got to take away fuel to maintain the AFR of like 13.3. Um, okay, so I'm just going to tune it up and then get a quick... Uh, some footage from my little camera here and then try and do a side-by-side -side before the manifold and after the manifold Just to have some kind of comparison to, to have something So first thoughts on the Skunk 2 manifold is that it's way louder, way louder than the stock manifold and throttle body. Especially in VTEC, you could really hear the engine open up. It just it just sounds wide open, it's hard to explain. And um, as far as power gain, I do notice a difference. It, even though it's slight, maybe, you know, on the website it actually says six horsepower to the wheel. And I believe it, you know, it's not a huge improvement, but it's something and it's enough to actually feel the difference. Um, so it's, it's just one of those mods to complement other bolt-ons. You know, it's, it's all about doing every little bolt-on will just get you a little bit more and it's just, you know, a piece of the puzzle. Um, so next move, I'm probably going to do a header and um, probably a cam. Man, I like to do the P29 pistons. Uh, I don't know, just just thoughts right now. I'm not sure how, uh, where this build is going to go exactly. But if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah.